Some say Chinese is one of the most difficult languages in the world, and learning it is almost impossible. So learning Chinese, the most difficult thing. Very strong, very strong, very strong, very strong, very strong. So I'm sort of tone deaf. I can't really hear them. I think the cultural mindset is the biggest complication for the us. grammar. It's just complicated so much. Only because you're not learning it in the right way. Why not try Take Away Chinese, where you can take some Chinese away and experience progress day by day. Take away Chinese. We will promise you a difference. Welcome to Take Away Chinese. I'm Niu Honglin with Tony Reed in the studio. Hi, Tony. Niu Niu, it is awesome to be in the studio with you again. It is super hot outside today. It is super hot. I know. I mean, in a hot summer day, you feel like it is healthy to, you know, be a little bit sweaty. It's kind of like your body's way to detoxic. Yeah, but, but not when it, you're dressed up. And, oh yeah, you know, I'm, and, you know me. I wear my collared shirts and the tie and all that, and that doesn't feel good to be dripping with sweat. No, and also it's really hard to put yourself out there to exercise. I mean, I know it's the healthy thing to do. I know no matter what kind of weather it is out there, you should always have your share of exercise. Size of sure. the day, but when it's hot, hot summer day, just really can bother. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I if I'm dressed for it, I think it's a psychological thing with my clothes. If I'm dressed up for work, then I don't like to sweat. But if I'm in my um, you know athleisure, <laughs> then I'm one. I, I I love it. I love the summer and I love to sweat. So oh, it's that's just, true. Yeah. You're the athletic Tony Reed. Oh, You're exceptional. I'm trying to lose that title, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean the thing is for me, um, if it's a nice room temperature and I'm exercising and I am sweating because of my exercise, it's cool.、Mm. But if it's out there in the outdoor area and I'm sweating both because of the exercising I'm doing and the hot, hot, hot summer day, then I'll find a little bit, you know, troubling. Which is why、yeah. I think swimming would actually be a really Great choice of exercise during summertime. Yeah, that's right. You can get into a pool where other people are there, sweating and swimming, and so you're、ah, swimming I, along with their sweat and the water. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> I don't see them sweating. I'm fine. And also, it's a good occasion to, you know, learn one or two moves from moves. Yeah, look good in the water. No, no, no! This、One、move, or two that move of swimming because I am <laughs> no expert in swimming. Are you a good swimmer? Well, I can't say that I'm an expert. My body mass, I sink right to the bottom because <laughs> I think I have a lot of muscle mass.、Mm -hmm. So for me, it's a very, very aerobic exercise. So, but I can swim, but just not as amazing as other people. Aww, I'm pretty sure you are great. You're just being modest. As for me, I am really a bad swimmer, which is why I'd like to pick up one or two moves from my friend who are, <laughs> you know, swimming with me, and it'll be nice. I mean, thinking about swimming in a hot summer day makes Me feel better. And do you know how to say swimming in Chinese? 不知道游泳游泳游泳哦游泳 Yeah, 游泳 That's swimming. Okay. 游泳 I think it'll be a good topic. Hopefully, being the theme of today's episode, people listening to Take Away Chinese would find listening to a conversation about swimming is you know cool in itself as well. <laughs> Yeah, or hopefully they don't hate us too much for talking about something they can't do at the moment. Oh yeah, please don't hate us. It's a cool, <laughs> cool idea to think about. Yeah. So for our dear listeners, if you're interested in Chinese culture and you want to get a grip on the Chinese language, then this is the show for you. Stick with us for 30 minutes, and you soon see the rewards. And for more fun Chinese learning, follow our Facebook page, Learn Chinese, to watch many fun videos and live streams. But now, let's provide you with some free Chinese for takeaway. 夏至以后，天气越来越炎热了。是呀，这么热的天，我们应该去游泳，不仅能解暑降温，还能锻炼身体，简直一举两得。
，择日不如撞日，我们下班就去吧，让我展示一下我的花式游泳技能。好嘞，不见不散。See, that's the kind of situation, the kind of conversation you hear any day in a hot summer day. Absolutely, people who love swimming, that's for sure. So let's get to the language part of the conversation, and maybe you know discuss how Tony swims, what kind of strokes you know. And just, you know, <laughs> that'll be a fun conversation.、Sounds、All right,、good. for the first sentence, 夏至以后，天气越来越炎热了。夏至以后，天气越来越炎热了。So that's the weather is getting hotter and hotter after the summer solstice. That's true. So, 夏至 So, 夏至 This is、um, the summer solstice, right? Summer solstice. 夏 is summer, right? Uh huh. And 至至 is extreme. Okay. Yeah. So it's like ah,、uh, the, the hottest time of the summer. Uh huh. That's the idea. Got it. And also, we've got 冬至冬至冬至 is winter、oh, solstice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right.、Okay. You can get how the word is formed. Got it. 以后 Eho, this is very common. I hear this a lot in conversation.、Mm -hmm. This is after, yeah. After you can use it in any sentence, in the way that, for example, 我以后要成为一个好大夫 I'd like to be a good doctor later or in the future. So it's like、oh. talking about future time. Okay, so、mm -hmm. you can use this also for in the future. Yes, 以后 Okay, 天气,天气 This is weather. Weather. Yue lai yue. So this is like increasing and increasing, right?、Uh -huh. Increasing. Very, very useful phrase. You、mm. use yue lai yue all the time, and I think now you can totally say 天气越来越热了 It's getting hotter and hotter. Right.、Mm -hmm. 炎热，炎热。So 热 is hot, right?、Uh -huh. And 炎 I'm not really sure. Is this just、like、super also, hot? It's talking about super hot. And if you know characters, you would see that <laughs> actually the forming of the character 炎 is with two fire. So two 火火 is fire,、mm -hmm. and you put the two 火 character together, you've got 炎 So it's like scorching hot, really hot. 炎热 Okay. There are a lot of different words for hot. You've got 炎热 very very hot, 酷热 like harsh, hot. Okay. Also, um, 燥热 it's like uncomfortably hot,、mm. makes you feel unsettling. Okay. So different kinds of hot, but just like really really hot. People do not like hot. They have a lot of words for it. I see. 夏至以后天气越来越炎热了。是呀。这么热的天，我们应该去游泳。是呀，这么热的天，我们应该去游泳。So this is yeah, we should go swimming in such hot weather. Hmm. Uh, so 是呀 so the 呀 is kind of like a specialty ending, right? Uh huh. It's like right. <laughs> so what it sure <laughs> just means yeah、yes. or yes,、mm -hmm. yeah. 怎么 This is uh, normally uh, like how, right? This or this? 这么哦，这么 this 怎么 is how? Okay, yeah, very very similar. <laughs> very similar, that's true. And then 这么的天 so 热热 is heat or and, hot or hot,、mm -hmm. and then 的 is of,、mm -hmm. and then 天 is day, right? 天 you can understand it as 天 day, or you can understand it as 天气 weather. Uh. So such hot weather, or in a day this hot, both works. Okay.、Mm -hmm. Woman is we. Ingai.、Mm -hmm. This is should. Should. And then chu, or chu. Chu. Is go. Go. And then yo yong. How do you say that? Is that right? Yo yong. That's right. Yo yong. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's、uh, swimming. Swimming. We should go swimming. We should go swimming. We should go swimming. 解暑降温，还能锻炼身体，简直一举两得。不仅能解暑降温，还能锻炼身体，简直一举两得。
So this is swimming is a great way of killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> uh, getting exercise while relieving、uh, the summer heat. Look at you translating the sentence by its meaning, changing the order of it, the structure of it. That's really good. All right. So for the first part of the sentence, 不仅能解暑降温，不仅 so 不仅 this is like a、um, the start of not a, only not only.、Uh-huh. And then nung is can,、mm-hmm. right? 解暑解暑解暑解暑降温 It's kind of like a set phrase. I mean, you can use 解暑 and 降温 separately for sure,、mm-hmm. but putting them together, it. I mean, it's also very common to see people using them together. So 解解 is like solve. 暑 is talking about the heat in the summer. So 解暑 is kind of like relieve the heat. Okay. And 降温降 means to lower, 温温度 um temperature. So 解暑降温 together is kind of like relieve the heat, cool it down, lower the temperature, making sure you feel better. So 解暑降温 It's like saying the same thing twice. Oh, several times. We like to say the same thing using different ways of saying it、mm. several times. That's You know the beauty of the language. So, 解暑降温 pretty much means relieve heat and cool down. Yes. So, which kind of have the same meaning in、yes. English, but. Yes. Hai neng. All right, hai neng. Also、so、can. This is but also, yeah. Yes, but also neng can. Neng can duan lian shen ti. Duan lian shen ti. Duan lian means exercise, right? Uh huh. And then shen ti is body. Shen ti is body. And then. 简直，简直，一句。So 简直 is like simply, simply, or it really is. It really is something. All right.、Mm-hmm. Then, 一举两得。一举两得 This is a, a phrase or an expression. 一 we know is one. 两 is two. 举 is like a 举动 a move, an action. And 得 is a result or a gain. I do one thing, and、um, I've got two positive results. Two positive Makes results. Makes me happy. 一举两得。好。嗯哼。And then we have 择日不如撞日。我们下班。就去吧，择日不如撞日。我们下班就去吧。So this is another expression. There's no time like the present.、Uh, let's go after work. Uh huh. So let's see if I can get this. 择日不日。择<笑>日不如。择日不如。撞日，撞日。It's a hard oh, one. The R is so R difficult is、really、for me. The R is really hard. Because when I see it, it looks like we do R, but in Chinese, it's more z. So、yeah. it's like a z kind、it's、of like sound. It's like genre or yeah, juice. It depends. The but here, the z sound. <laughs> yes, but here, 择日不如撞日 is also a very common expression. Which is why I suggest you to practice it. You know, you can just you know practice it a hundred times in a row.、Oh. That'll guarantee you <laughs> pronouncing it correctly.、Uh, but the idea is that no time is as good as now. So 择 is like to 选择 to select to choose 选择 choose. 日 is a day. We know that character.、Mm. And 不如 is not as good as. So 不如他不如你高 He's not as tall as you. 他不如你漂亮 She's not as beautiful as you. So not as.、Mm. 不如撞 is like bump into someone. Bump into something. So if you bump into the door and hurt yourself, you can say 我撞门上了 So I hit the door、okay. by accident. So it's bump into something. And 日 we know is a day. So selecting a day is not as good as just bump into the day. And which day would you bump into today? Today is the day you bump into now. So that's the idea. So people use this expression to show that let's do this today. Let's. With no further ado, let's make it happen this very day. 择日不如撞日 That's the meaning of this idiom or this phrase. Okay.、Mm-hmm. So next we have 我们下班 So this is like we off work. Uh huh. And then 就 is this like then. after or then? Okay, then.、Uh-huh. And then 去吧去 is like let's go.、Right? Yes. So 我们去吧 Let's go. 我们下班就去吧 Let's go after work directly after work. Okay.、Mm-hmm. 让我
展示一下我的花式游泳技能。让我展示一下我的花式游泳技能。So this is. Let me show you my skills in swimming.、Mm, Sounds like、breaking. this person is ready to gloat. <laughs> ready to gloat, yes. So let's uh, rang rang wo.、Uh -huh. Is this like with me? Allow me or Allow let me. me. Okay, let、mm -hmm. me. 展示展示展示 So this is like show or present. Show present, yes. And then 一下 A bit. A bit. Uh, -huh. uh 我的 this my、uh -huh. 花式游泳 So this is like the like swimming swimming ability, maybe. Yeah, because I feel like 花式 carries the meaning of variety of. Okay. 花 is like a lot. 是样式 style. The person is kind of like saying, "I have a lot of ways to swim. I know a lot of different skills, and like to show you." So, 花式 variety, variety like, of、maybe. swimming, yeah. And then, 技能 here should be skill, right? Skill. 嗯，让我展示一下我的花式游泳技能 Allow me to, you know, show you my skills. 好嘞，不见不散。好嘞，不见不散。Mm, this sounds like another expression.、Yep. Hale is just like an agreement sound, right?、Uh -huh. Like okay, all or, right, right. And then bu jian bu san, bu jian. I think this is like see you later. Bu jian is like no see no san. Be there or be square. Be there,、okay. right? You can understand it as that.、Right. So bu jian bu we know is no or、right. don't do anything, and san is like to separate. So I will definitely see you, and if I don't see you there, and I will not go, we will not separate. I'll just be there waiting for you. 不见不散 So I think the closest translation would be, be there or be square. Interesting. Yeah, because I, I I hear this one with 好久不见 right? Um, 好久不见 is haven't seen you for long. Yeah. But 不见不散 is no seeing, no leaving. <laughs> no, <laughs> no seeing, no leaving. Yeah. If I don't see you there, I will not leave. Uh, Better be there. Okay. 不见不散 Got it. Uh huh. All right. That's the conversation. Any questions? Uh, no. I'm not going to add any more questions. Let's <laughs> let's go ahead and run with it. Okay. Let's do this. 夏至以后，天气越来越炎热了。是呀，这么热的天，我们应该去游泳。不仅能结束降温，还能锻炼身体，减脂，一举两得。择日不如撞日，我们下班就去吧。让我展示一下我的花式游泳技能。好嘞，不见不散。You're listening to Takeaway Chinese with myself, Neil Hongling, and Tony. We would love to hear from you. Send your thoughts via email to learnchinese at cri dot com dot cn. Coming up next, let's learn to say different styles of swimming in Chinese. Don't go away, so you will take some Chinese away. Welcome back to Takeaway Chinese. I'm Neil Hollin with Tony here in the studio. So, Tony, what kind of swimming strokes do you know? Well, I can do a backstroke, but not very well.、Mm. Um, is that the first one you learned? Because I, I think it's kind of hard. Yeah, it is. It's relatively the, hard, right? I do the, I guess, the breaststroke. Yeah, that's the basic one. Yeah, and、um, you know where your face comes goes in the water, and then it comes out and goes back in the water. Ah,、uh, yeah,、out. yeah, yeah. And、uh, so that one is very, very tedious.、It、makes me really tired, but I can get you know back and forth in the pool. Through the pool really quickly. Yeah,、uh, I can tread water, but again, I have to work harder than other people because I'm so heavy. And、um, dog, I guess everybody can dog paddle, <laughs> but that's not See, that doesn't really count as swimming, what? though. It, it, well, I think it counts it as swimming, but it, it does doesn't、not. count as a swim stroke. In、mm. China, here, when we learn to swim, we're told that there are four basic strokes, and no dog paddle doesn't count. But we do have a name for it. We、we'll、call it 狗刨狗刨 <laughs> Yes. So 狗 is a dog.、Mm -hmm. 刨 is the kind of action you use all your of your limbs and just you know. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Desperation. <laughs> 
moving them in the water, <laughs> trying、yeah. really hard. So, uh, 狗刨 survival movements, <laughs> survival movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 狗刨 that's what you do. And if you know how to do that, I'm not really sure. I mean, for me, since I'm really a bad swimmer, I will count it as. You know how to swim if you know how to dog paddle, but I don't know if it's the standard for anyone. And as for the four different kind of swimming strokes, the first one being a、uh, breaststroke, like you said,、yeah. that's the basic. And in Chinese, we call it wa yong. Wa yong. Wa yong. So we know yo yong. Yong is swimming. Right. So wa is actually frog. <laughs> Qingwa, because when you're doing that swim, you're using your legs to, you know, kind of like step into the water. You stretch them, and then you hit the water or kick the water in a way.、Mm-hmm. So you're moving both your arms and your legs. And in, I think for the person creating the word wa yong, frog. Swimming, frog swimming, I frog think- swimming. They're they're thinking about frogs, so that's how the name is created. So that's wa yong breaststroke, and the other one you know how to do is backstroke, right? Yeah, not again, not for very long, but still. But yes, I can. You do mastered、it. the skill, and in I, Chinese, I, I, master is a stretch. But okay, <laughs> okay. So in Chinese, we call it yang yong. Yang Yong. Yang Yong. Yang. Here actually carries the meaning of face upward. Okay. Uh, Yang. So if someone say Yang Tou, it means you should lift up your face.、Okay. So that's the move. Yang. So Yang Yong is basically because when you are doing Yang Yong, when you are doing backstroke, you are actually lying on the water and、mm. your face is up all the time. So Yang Yong. That's how we got the name Yang Yong. Hmm. Okay. Yang Yong. Yang Yong, okay. And there are two other ones. I don't know if you know this one, but I think it's one of the hardest stroke I've、okay. ever seen. It is the kind of move you use to, you know, move your legs together in a dolphin kick, and the arms move together to push the water downward and backward.、Mm, I think I've seen that, like on like、uh, swimming competitions、oh, and、yeah. stuff like that. I don't see too many people doing that. It's really, really hard, isn't it? Recreationally, because it's so difficult. <laughs> yeah, but it's really good exercise. I think it's called the butterfly. The butterfly,、right? and coincidentally, it's the same here in Chinese. In Chinese, we call it 蝶泳蝶泳蝶 as in 蝴蝶 butterfly. Hmm. 蝴蝶蝴蝶 Uh huh. So 蝶泳 that's the butterfly. Got it. Butterfly swimming doesn't make sense biologically, but apparently it's describing、um, the move. So when you're swimming in the water using the butterfly, you're kind of like a butterfly because both your arms and、uh, legs are moving together. Yeah, in a really, really difficult way. I prefer the.、Uh, I guess they call it freestyle. Ah, freestyle, 自由泳 Yeah, I think that's where your face goes in the water and it it comes out a little bit, goes back in, and you're kicking your feet and you really you go back and forth across the pool very quickly.、Mm-hmm. It's tiring, but it's it's. It's, it's also very, very popular. Yeah. 自由泳 in English it's freestyle. Yeah. In Chinese it's also like free. Swimming, 自由自由 is free. So 自由泳自由泳 Perfect. 自由泳 That's freestyle. Awesome. So now we know all four different kinds of swim strokes. Yeah, I didn't so, even know them in English, so it was、uh, it's educational <laughs> for me on both sides. <laughs> so to sum up, breaststroke, 蛙泳蛙泳 butterfly, 蝶泳 And also, we have Yang Yong. That's backstroke. Yang Yong. And 自由泳自由泳 That's freestyle. Got it. Yeah. And when you're swimming, you also need a lot of different equipment. I mean, we are peppered here in the city. We don't swim for transportation. <laughs> We swim for <laughs> recreational purposes. Of course, who swims <laughs> for transportation? <laughs> Some people, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen these people before. Yeah, centuries ago, possibly、Maybe. they need to swim.、Uh, anyway, but when we swim, we swim for fun, and that is why we need a lot of different equipment. For example, you definitely need a swimsuit. Okay.、Mm-hmm. And that is quite simple. You call it 泳衣 in Chinese. 泳衣
Yeah, yong is 游泳 again. Swim, 衣衣服 clothes. So、right. 泳衣 swim suit. 泳衣 precisely.、Suit. Okay.、Mm -hmm. And also, you're gonna need a 泳镜 Yong Jin. Jin is 眼镜 That's your glasses. So this、okay. is your swim so goggles. goggles. Yeah, I cannot open my eyes underwater. Can you do that? Uh, it depends on how chlorinated the water is. If it's、That's、like、true. really, really strong, then that your eyes burn. So I could do it for a little You're while. You're swimming in the sea, aren't you? <laughs> no, I'm swimming in like a pool, but they put a lot of chlorine in it. To oh, that's it. true. Yeah. Because you know, like we talked about earlier, people like to sweat in the pool, right? <laughs> so the chlorine needs to clean、go. that out. But if you open your eyes, there, it's you know, it's, it hurts your eyes as well.、Mm -hmm. So yeah, goggles are. A must. Amazing, <laughs>、uh, and if you're in the ocean, of course you need it. Otherwise, the salt will just yeah destroy your eyes. Yeah, and、uh, another equipment,、uh, which is a must for me, is the 泳帽 Yong mao. Uh huh. Mao. Mao zi. Mao zi. Mao zi is a hat or a cap, <laughs> right? Because I have long hair, and if I just swim in the water, my hair would go everywhere, and it will block my vision. I will hit someone or hit the wall. Or your hair will gather some inside of the pool. It's just、right? it's, it's it's not pretty. So、yeah. I'm gonna need a yong mao, a bathing cap. Yong mao. Uh huh. Interesting. I was expecting you to say like a、um, a floaty or one of those equipment for to keep people above the water. Ah, yeah. You know, right now that if I've used a yo yong chuan. Yo yong chuan. Swimming circle. Swimming circle. What do we? That's not what we call it. Swim ring. To,、uh, yeah, some, something like that. It's like a floating ring or, or kickboards. Kickboard. I'm not I think kickboards are different. Kickboards are the ones that you use to start learning swimming.、Mm. So you would hold your arms. That's a boogie、around. board. <laughs> you call it、we、boogie boards. We call boogie boards. Yeah. In Chinese, we call it 浮板 floating Fuban. board. Okay. You can take those and swim into the ocean, and then when the, a wave comes, you can turn around, and then you can use that to ride the wave back towards the shore.、Uh -huh. Those are cl、so、called boogie boarding. <laughs> there are a lot of different equipments. Very interesting. Yeah, for, I've always been jealous of people who were overweight or fat when they swim, because they can float. They can float. That's something that everyone knows. If you have more fat content, you float much better.、Mm -hmm. So you can actually just lay on your back and just float on top of the water. But it's still scary if you do not know how to swim. Yeah, but it, I mean, think about that. It's like you have floaties naturally attached to your body, so you don't sink. So that's kind of cool. For me, I'm like really struggling to stay on top of the water. So <laughs>、yeah. it's just it's different body dynamics But there. But think about it different way. Maybe for you, well, definitely for you, swimming is a better form of exercise for you. <laughs> you burn more calories. You work your Cardiovascular function better, and you—it's、yeah, just a good exercise. My chances of drowning is much higher than those <laughs> who have more fat Then, content. Then swim in a pool, don't swim in the river.、Mm. Which brings me to a fun fact that I know: that is, China actually have a national swimming and fitness week. Okay. So whichever week that contains July the sixteenth. Will be considered the National Swimming and Fitness Week here in China, and for those who are really good at swimming, they are, I mean, not encouraged, but there will be activities held around natural rivers, allowing them to cross the river using their swimming skills. Of course, there will be safeguards all over the place when the activities are held, but it still is a quite cool thing to do if you are. Good enough at swimming that you can actually cross a river with your own body instead of an equipment. Something super cool.、Mm, And better be wearing a life vest. Of course. So, even though I'm sharing this piece of fact that I know about, I'm still saying for those of you who enjoy swim very much, still doing it. Safely is the first priority. Is the most important thing you should always keep in mind. In Chinese, we have the saying, 淹死的都是会水的 So 淹死 means drowning to death. Yes. And 会水会 is able to. 水 is water. So if you're very able in the water, then you know how to swim. So the idea is that 
most of those who drown in the water are those who actually know how to swim. That's right.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So,、uh, keep so your... you have to respect the water and keep a, an eye on you know the casualties that happen with it, and it'll give everyone a, a I guess a larger respect for swimming and make sure that everyone is you know cautious because cautious. it could take anyone. Yes. So be cautious, but also enjoy. The fun of swimming in the hot summer day. 大家可以一起享受游泳的乐趣 That brings us to the end of today's takeaway Chinese. I'm Yao Holin with Tony here in the studio. For more episodes of the show, you can visit our website at radio.cgtn.com and go to the column podcast. You can also listen to the show and read the script there. Find us wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts, including Apple, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and much more. Just search for Takeaway Chinese. Don't forget to leave your comments, ratings, and questions. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Bye, Jen.